ho, ho, and welcome to The Long Road with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And we are doing our 12 Days of Christmas Treats. That's right, and today we are sharing Reese's Nut and Butter Truffles. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, this recipe is the Reese's Nut and Butter Cookie Truffle recipe that we um, will make, and we'll get about 30 to 40 truffles off of it. And um, it calls for a full pack of Nutter Butters, um, eight ounces of the Reese's mi uh, miniature cups, and um, as you can see, that's more than that, so uh, you could get a smaller bag. Uh, we thought that we needed this for two recipes, and I think it's only one. I think I misread it. I think it said chips, not cups. Um, if that's the case, then, you know, my son and Joel will gladly eat that. Um, eight ounces of cream cheese. And 12 ounces of milk chocolate chips. This is 23 ounces, so we'll just use some milk chocolate chips for something else. I think I may have another recipe that calls for milk chocolate chips. And then just three quarters of a tablespoon of just... Three quarters spoons, uh, just three quarters of a tablespoon of shortening, and I can't remember. I think that's for the chocolate that you. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. That you put that in the chocolate chips. You melt it with the chocolate chips to uh, make the chocolate more smooth. I guess you would say. Anyway, so um, this is going to be fun because you are supposed to have a food processor for this. And the best I have is like a mini chopper. So um, we'll, this may take some batches and yeah, it may be interesting putting this together. But uh, I am confident that I can figure this out. <laughs> so what I did was I took the Nutter Butters. I cut them into chunks on my cutting board. And then I put it in my mini chopper a couple of pieces at a time. I cut them into smaller pieces just so they would fit in there better. Um, then I would I chopped them up and they turned out pretty fine like that. So now I'm supposed to take the cream cheese, um, eight ounces of it, and in little uh, broken up pieces and add it to this. Now, if I had a food processor, I would have done it in the food processor. I would just added it in the food processor to the crumbed crumbles, into the crumbles. But since I don't have one, I have it in this bowl. And then I'm gonna take a mixer and I'm gonna try that way to get the right consistency. So that's what I'm gonna do next is add that, okay? Guys, I'm going to figure it out because you know what? They didn't have food processors back in the 1800s and somehow they cooked. So, I know there's a way to do this. Yeah, that's better. Getting there, getting there. Because you got to get that uh, cream cheese to break up and it was just, the blender was, the mixer was just moving the cream cheese around and around and around. Now what we're going to do is we need eight ounces of this chocolate and it calls for the mini mini ones that are not wrapped and these are wrapped so I am going to take it out of the wrapper until I have eight ounces of it and then we're just going to quarter them make them small um, I believe the day that we looked we couldn't find 
the minis. I don't know what was going on, but apparently everybody was buying bacon food that day. Because we had trouble finding a lot of it. Or, like, had to settle for, like, a brand name when we normally might, like, wouldn't have worried with it. Like, like say, the, um, powdered sugar that I need for one of the recipes. They only had the Domino brand, which is the more expensive brand. I don't know what was going on. Okay, so this is 8.1 ounces, and I had about this amount left of the Reese's. Hopefully, I'm in the shot. Okay, so I'm going to move this. I'm going to put these down here. I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces. It says to quarter them, so I'm just going to give them a little rough chop like that. I'm not going to sit here and quarter every one of them. Like I said, just rough chops to make sure that they're small pieces, small chunks. Works for me. Besides, it's Orlando. It's like 75. Or, it's probably 80 degrees in the house because that's what we have our air conditioner set on. So... So it's all, you can, I can tell the chocolate's kind of melty. So the longer I take putting it in there, the more melty my chocolate is gonna be. So I'm trying to get it done quicker. If you were in a cooler climate, you might be able to, you might wanna take time and quarter it. The little tiny miniatures is what it was talking about. The little, little ones that, that don't come wrapped. Uh, quartering those so hopefully this is about the same size as I would get from those quartering miniatures like that so I'm gonna stop right there and um, what I'm gonna do is just add them in and it just says to gently fold it you don't want to go too far with it I'm just gonna Gently fold. Might should have picked a bigger bowl. But if I didn't make a mess while I was cooking, well, yeah, always happens. Okay, so we are going to roll it. And I think that would probably be about right for a one inch ball. And we're just going to put that down on the sheet pan. When we're finished, when we have all of our truffle balls rolled, we're going to put it in the freezer for 30 to 40 minutes. So we'll pick up when I am finished. So our Nutter Butter truffles are in the freezer, and now we're taking 12 ounces of chocolate chips and three quarters of a tablespoon of um, shortening, and we're gonna put that in the microwave. We're gonna stir it every 30 seconds until it's melted. You don't wanna ever like just go, oh, it'll take two minutes and just set it. It will, like, it could burn the chocolate chips. You need to stir it in between every 30 seconds to make sure you don't get melt, uh, burnt chips in the process. So we'll do that. And as soon as it's done uh, melting, we will show you the next step. Okay, so we have our chocolate ready. I think that took about, it was a, it, mine could have gone with just one minute, but I went for a minute and 30 seconds just cause I wanted to make sure they were all melted in there. We also finally found some sprinkles at Walmart. Whoops. And we're going to sprinkle it um, after we add the chocolate. So we're going to show you how we do that. We're gonna speed it up so that you can see us do it quick.
Okay, so we just got them out of the refrigerator after we let them chill for a few minutes. And we fit eight into a container. And with the ones that we had left, we figure we would get three more. So that would be about four gifts, depending on the size of your containers and how many you got out of it. Because we didn't make all, we ate a few of them. But <laughs> uh, if you had smaller containers or you put fewer in there or you put more, just depending on that means it could be different for however many you determine to make out of it. But we're estimating about four, which is not too bad. So thanks for joining us for the 12 Days of Christmas Treats. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more content from us. Don't forget to comment below and tell us what Christmas treats you're doing or if you tried one of our recipes. Let us know how it went in the comments. Also, tag us on Instagram at The Long Run with Joel and Chrissy. We'd love to see your creations. That's right. So for The Long Run with Joel and Chrissy, I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget us The Long Run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.